Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to use conditional formatting in a Google Sheet chart. For example, here we have monthly sales and we have the target for each month. Now here on the chart, we are showing this area for the sales target and wherever the actual sales is less than target, then it is in red color. And if it is above target or equal to target, then it is in green color. You can change the target for any specific month. Let's say I want to keep here 450. Then here you can see this has been changed automatically to the green. Similarly here in the June month, I want to change it to the 700. Then you can see it has been changed to the red. Now I will explain you how you can create this beautiful chart in Google Sheet. You can use this chart to your Google Sheet dashboard or your daily report. So let's start without delay. I'm going to copy this data and add a new worksheet. And let's paste that data here. So we will use the same data. First of all, I'll go to the view, show and untick these grid lines. Okay, now here we will add two support column, one for the red, another one for green. In the red, we will use the formula if the sales amount, actual sales amount is less than sales target, then we will take the sales amount, else we will take any function. Just close the bracket and hit the enter. So here it is showing any because sales amount is greater than sales target. Now let's use the similar formula here for the green. If sales amount is greater than or equal to sales target, then we will take sales, else we will take any. Just close the bracket and hit the enter. Now we will fill this formula down. We are getting somewhere value and somewhere has any. Let's align this center. Now we will select the month using the control and mouse and then select the sales target red and green okay now go to the insert and insert a chart so we have some default chart here we will change this chart so let's go to the chart type it is automatically a combo chart if it is some other chart then you can choose from here this combo chart okay now let's go to the customize here in the customize first go to the chart access and title and we will change the chart title so let's take here monthly sales and in bracket i am putting target versus actual all right I'm aligning this center and the text color I'm taking black and I'm making it bold. All right, now go to the series. In the series, select the first series which is sales target and the type of this we will take area. You can take the line also, but here I'm taking the area. You can take any color from here. So let's say I'm taking some light color, this light yellow or you can choose little darker let's say this one now let's select the another series let's take this red and for red we will select columns and fill color we will take this red color now scroll it down and let's check this data labels all right now select here green this one and select the columns here and then fill color let's take this green color and then check this data label now our chart is ready but we will remove the legend from here so let's go to the legend and take none here okay now we will remove the grid lines also so let's go to the grid lines and takes and untick this major grid lines so grid lines are removed let's close this chart is ready now for these two column because these are support columns so you can make the font color as white so it will not be visible keep your chart here we are seeing few space there so we can make it stack also so let's go to the 
again in the setup here in the stacking choose standard now the color of this green data label should be white so let's go to the customize and go here series choose here green and the data label is checked you can see so we will take the text color as white so it is readable now all right now our chart is ready so you can use this you can try with changing the targets let's say here i'm taking 300 then here you can see it is in green all right friends so friends that is how you can create this target versus actual monthly sales chart with conditional formatting friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos Thank you so much for watching.